right, we're now going to take a look at Ellie's breaststroke here. She gets up on the block. One thing I'm just going to point out here that I always like to teach my guys is I want to get their hips up higher on the block. Because if you think about this, right now, to take that start, you've got to lift those hips up a little bit more and launch them. I want those hips moving forward that way as we go throughout the water. Entry is good. You can afford to go a little bit deeper. You can actually hold on to that streamline a little bit more. Watch this at full speed. Okay. You want to start slowing down just a little bit or almost start slowing down before you take that first pull on the breaststroke. You'll see that underwater as well. Now I think one thing you're also going to see is how far back you're pulling on your breaststroke pull. You don't need to pull back that far. That's going to actually affect your timing pretty drastically and especially as you get into longer strokes or longer events where you get a little bit more fatigued. The head movement is more than you need to. You just focus on a fixed point at the other end of that pool and you're going to get there even enough. Again, look at this, how much speed you've got, you can slow down, you can carry that speed a little bit further. doesn't matter which is faster, or it doesn't matter what you do, if you're gliding underwater or if you're swimming above water, you go with what's ever fastest at the appropriate part of the stroke. Obviously, we don't want you to go past 15 meters on dolphin kick, or we don't want you to take two pull-out and kick-outs, but you want to use whatever is fastest for you as you go along. You can see here, right? See where those hands come all the way back, okay? Right now, your elbows are right there. Pointing the wrong way. Your elbows are right there, okay? I want to keep those elbows up here in front of you so you can always keep them moving forward. you got a little bit of a hitch in your stroke, and we'll see that when we go underwater. If we can get that timing down, then it allows you to use your arms and your legs in concert with one another. It allows you to work with them together. Right now, you kind of have them going as separate entities, and if you can get the timing down, and I think through a lot of drill work, three kicks, one pull, two kicks, one pull, those types of things, you're going to have yourself a very nice breaststroke. But let's take a look at it in underwater next. All right, we're going to take a look at Ellie's underwater breaststroke here. And I like how much speed she maintains there. She does a nice job of keeping a pretty narrow profile. A little bit early on the pull out and kick out and see that leaves her about a foot plus of water to get through. We want to be able to keep that head down. One thing I always like to do is tell my breaststrokers not to breathe on the first pull. As weird as it sounds, it prevents them from lifting their head up too high. You actually do a good job going from vertical like this to right in that horizontal body position that we're looking for in breaststroke. I'm looking at this, the first round, I want to see it at full speed. This is a fantastic breaststroke. Timing is excellent. Catch is excellent. We're going to use this video for other people to show some things that we want to be able to do. We go into this wall, don't worry, I'm going to slow it down on the way back. I want to hold on to this streamline a little bit more. Remember, this is the second fastest part of your race. So if we can hold on to it a little bit more, glide, and then right now take the pull, bow it up with a little bit of double kick. You can see a little bit of a head lift there. You don't need to be able to, do, you don't have to do that. But see right now, you're kind of dead in the water, not moving forward when you finish those hands. So I want to hold on to the streamline then start the hands, and then recover those hands as we start the kick. But one thing I do notice, your first stroke, and you don't do this on subsequent strokes, you do tend to over pull it a little bit. And right here, that's where those hands get caught underneath, and that's where you're vertical. Remember, we want to stay as horizontal as possible as we go throughout this stroke. I like what we see for the most part. The head position is great. The timing is outstanding. Here's what I like. Pull, 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 pull. Now, the one thing we can do is we can recover those feet a little bit more quickly so we can eliminate the stroke, or eliminate this dead zone right here, okay? So your hands are moving forward and you're recovering your feet forward. What we actually wanted to be doing is at some point in time, find a way to push the water backwards instead of moving them forward like we're doing right here. That creates a little bit of an inefficiency, but man, what you'd make up for it though is in knee flexibility there and being able to bring those heels up to your butt. This is absolutely something that I look for when I recruit breaststrokers is how good of knee and ankle flexibility do they have to get their feet up to their rear end. And then you can see what happens is your legs take over and you turn into a missile here. Good streamlined position, you shoot through the water. Okay, it's this glide here. We want to be able to start this pull right here. Those hands going a little bit further than we want to. We want them to start getting into the recovery but we want to get those heels up a little bit more quickly. You've got the flexibility, you've got the power, we just want to add a little bit of foot speed to that. The number one thing that I like about this, two things really, 
One, the catch. You got a good feel for the water. The second is the body position. You can see how high the hips are up on top of the water. And that, if you got those two things, you're going to have yourself a great breaststroker. Really, I like the timing of it as you get better and better. You're going to be a good breaststroker, especially as the distances go up, as long as you can maintain that pull. But if you're long and lean enough, I think as you gain strength, you're going to see good things out of this breaststroke.